What happened is called a boilover explosion. Why it happened is a bit more complicated. Water is not your friend in a crude oil tank fire. Fire protection specialist Gordon Lohmeyer is an expert on oil fires. When your crude oil is on fire, it heats up the tank. A heat wave travels to the bottom of the tank one foot per hour until it reaches the water layer. It actually converts the water from a liquid phase to a steam phase. It expands 1,700 times to one. And that's enough to set off this. Look closely and you can actually see the steam expanding into flames. Once the temperature reaches 212 degrees, it's only a matter of time before the steam ignites an explosion. Obviously, you need water to put out a fire. So how could this have been avoided? Every gallon of water that you put into that tank needs to be drained out. Most likely, this wouldn't have happened if a water release valve at the bottom of the tank had been fully opened. It eventually catches up with you when you, when you put enough water on that tank. And when it comes to fighting oil fires, the clock is ticking. The longer the fire rages, the hotter the, it gets and the lower the heat wave goes in the tank, thus setting you up for potential boilover. 